What's up ladies and gentlemen, Universal Mastery. Welcome back to my channel where I break down the occult sciences and I break them down to a practical level so that you can use them and apply them in your day-to-day -day life and get real, actual results with the things that I'm teaching by applying your awareness, okay? First thing I wanna do is create a little bit of a context just to give you some information on who I am as a person so you know who you're getting this content from. My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am a professional occultist. I am fully initiated in Kabbalah, being the front side of the tree and the back side, the Sephiroth, the Klipoth, Universe A, Universe B. I'm studying when it comes to the 22 archetypal paths in regards to the major arcana. And I'm also studying when it comes to planetary energies in connection to astrology. Okay, once again, that is just to give you some awareness on who you're getting this information from because that's important to know, okay? Um, so what is the topic of today's video? Let's talk about the Scarlet Woman in sex magic. Okay, that's going to be our topic. So if you want to know a little bit more about the Scarlet Woman and a little bit more on how to use sex magic, okay, what exactly is sex magic? You know, how do you use this? How do you use your sexual energy to manifest reality around you? And how does the Scarlet Woman come into play uh, with that, okay? So if this is a video that you're interested in and you want to know a little bit more about it, then definitely stay tuned. Okay, so let's start here. So. Let's start with the Scarlet Woman, okay? So first, I have a entire video that is titled Scarlet Woman, or it may be The Scarlet Woman Unveiled. So if you wanna know a little bit more about the Scarlet Woman, I would definitely recommend watching that video after this one, okay? Or you could pause this one, go watch that one, and then come back, okay? That'll just give you some clarity on what the Scarlet Woman is as a spirit, as a real energetic archetypal force. But I want to say this, the Scarlet Woman obviously shows up as a scarlet color, okay? So the Scarlet Woman is an actual spirit, it is an actual archetypal energy, um, and it will show up in people's lives when they are developing themselves uh, in the occult field. So when you go through occult initiations, the Scarlet Woman will show up. So what does the Scarlet Woman represent? Okay, specifically it represents two major things. It represents your soul. So whenever you see the Scarlet color show up, so oftentimes you will see the Scarlet Woman show up on a woman uh, or show up in a woman with red hair or wearing the color scarlet or wearing the color purple. Purple and scarlet are connected to the scarlet woman. Um, and even with a man, you know, it can also show up as a man. So it, you could call it the scarlet man, um, where a man could be wearing scarlet. A man could have red hair. These are symbols of that scarlet energy. Um, and that's, you know, that's just a, a quick symbol of how it can actually show up in your real life when you are going through this initiatory process or this initiatory system. And what it represents, once again, is your soul. Okay, so the Scarlet Woman is going to represent your soul. So when you see the Scarlet Woman show up, you know there's something to do with your soul in that moment. There's something profound with that. So... In one aspect, it represents the soul, and then in the other aspect, it represents sexual energy. So for those of you that do not know, the entire body consists of sexual energy. So we all know the seven chakra system, they tell you that the sexual energy only resides within your, um, what is it, the, like the, the base of your spine. Um, I don't know if they call it the root chakra, but they say it resides in the base of your spine and that you're supposed to lift it up. But that's not true. The reality is your entire being was formed and created. The reason why you have an entire physical body 
and your physical body has an energy field is because your entire body is sexual energy. We are sexual energy beings. Um, so, um, the sexual energy and the soul is going to be represented by this archetypal energy of the scarlet woman. So once again, whenever you see scarlet woman symbolism within your life, and you will see this if you are an occult initiate traveling through the Sephiroth or through the Klippoth or the tunnels of Set, things in that nature, you will see the scarlet woman show up. Now there is a certain aspect to the scarlet woman that is important to understand. The Scarlet Woman in its totality is an aspect of the Chaos Force. So the Scarlet Woman essentially resides in the Universe B aspect of spiritual evolution, the darker side of spiritual evolution, the Hell Realms. So you could think of the Scarlet Woman as an aspect of the Chaos Entity, which is the Karanzon or the Shugal, or you could even say the Yaldabaoth. Um, so essentially the Scarlet Woman is the perverted sexual energy that is trying to get you to, you could say, fall into temptation based off of lust reasons. So that would be somebody that is, you know, going to the strip club all the time trying to pay for sex. That would be a sex worker, a prostitute. That would be things based on lust, anything sexual with the sole purpose behind that sexual encounter or experience that's based on lust, that is the Scarlet Woman, okay? Now, obviously, the soul, when you are lusting for something, there is sexual energy being produced. That is a powerful state. But when you're lusting for something and there's no purpose behind that lust, if you don't have any higher intention or any deeper intention, other than the fact that you're sexually attracted and it's just lust, then that's the sexual energy that's perverted. That's the Scarlet Woman mastering your sexual energy. So the Scarlet Woman is taking your sexual energy, whether you're a man or a woman. So you are a slave to the Scarlet Woman if that's the case. Now, as an initiate, the Scarlet Woman will show up and she will teach you that you cannot lust for sexual experiences without a deeper intention. So there is no problem with having lust. There is no problem with being sexually attracted to the Scarlet Woman, but if you do not have a deeper intention behind it, what, which means if you do not have an intent to create something from that sexual encounter or that sexual experience or that sexual arousal, if you do not have that intent, then you will be wasting your energy giving it to the Scarlet Woman. But once again, when you are initiating intentionally through the underworld or through the Kabbalistic initiatory system, the Scarlet Woman will teach you through, oftentimes through trial and error, that you need to become a master of your sexual energy because your sexual energy is what ascends your soul. So that's why the Scarlet Woman is connected to your soul and your sexual energy. They're, they're both synonymous. You need to have the proper amount of sexual energy and the proper perception of how to use and control your sexual energy to ascend your own soul, which is traveling through your initiatory process. So for example, once again, when you're initiating, the Scarlet Woman will show up and she will teach you that you cannot just lust. There has to be an intention if you are going to have a sexual encounter or if you're going to be raising sexual energy, there needs to be a deeper intention behind why you're doing that rather than just getting an orgasm and having it directly only focused on lust itself. Just, oh, you know, I'm attracted to you, you're, you look good, and then have an orgasm and waste that sexual energy, once again, just for lust, just because you like the way they looked, right? So the Scarlet Woman will teach you a deeper perspective that not only can you just not have sex with just lust purposes, but that also comes with you have to have sex with the right people 
if you are going to be having these sexual encounters because if there is no deeper connection between you and the person, then how are you going to be able to set a deeper intention? If the person that you're attracted to is not on the same page as you or is not on the same path as you and you're trying to have this sexual experience with them, then oftentimes, energetically, naturally, you and this person will not even connect. There will be a lack of a lack of emotional and mental connection because you're not even on the same page in the first place. Now, if you were just trying to lust for this person and you were trying to have a uh, sexual experience without setting that deeper intention that you can create or manifest something from that experience, then you may take on a certain type of personality or a certain type of behavior to have a sexual experience with this person and then that will attract the person to you but you you will only be doing it from a lust perspective which means it's going to be a waste of your sexual energy okay there's not not going to be anything that's really going to manifest from it because you did not set that intention to create anything with this person and there wasn't an emotional or a mental connection to this person. So for an initiate, the Scarlet Woman will teach you that you cannot waste your sexual energy like that. And when I say that, I mean she will remove people from your life that you may have used to have casual sexual encounters with and she will make sure everything is, is purpose driven. Everything is in alignment with ascending your soul if you're actually somebody that takes your path seriously. Um, and she will bring the right people in your path once you've learned how to master your sexual energy, which also means learning how to be abstinent, learning how to control your sexual energy and not just you know use it all the time, whether that comes through the form of masturbation or whether that comes through the form of just looking for partners all the time just to have that sexual encounter. She will teach you how to really discipline that because once again, your sexual energy is directly in connection with your soul and the archetype for that is the Scarlet Woman and that's her purpose is to help teach you. But at the same time, if you are not an initiate and you are not taking your evolutionary journey seriously and you're locked into the physical plane, the five senses, the Scarlet Woman will suck you dry. How many people do you know only have sex for lust purposes. How many people do you know that are addicted to the porn industry? How many people do you know do not set intentions when they have sexual encounters? This is all the, the scarlet woman. She's getting all of that energy. Okay, her, she's one aspect of that and then there's the Lilith. So these are spirits that feed off that energy but once again when you are an initiate and you're setting that intention towards re reaching your highest potential now these spirits that suck most people dry these dark entities that suck most people dry now they're becoming your teachers now they're becoming your guides and they're these archetypal forces that are now going to show you how to master their abilities and to master their abilities you have to learn how to control your sexual energy and then navigate your soul with that control okay so yeah so that's exactly you know what's going on with the scarlet woman um is she will teach you how to connect with the right people so that there can be that emotional connection so that there can be that mental connection, so that when you do have the sexual encounter with them, you also are aware that you're able to create by setting intention in the midst of that sexual encounter, and the person that you're gonna be having the encounter with is actually gonna be open enough to carry the archetype of the Scarlet Woman, which is also going to aid in your uh, creation abilities which aids in your evolution okay the scarlet woman the color scarlet is also associated with earth energies so there's even a carlos Castaneda book i believe it was the fire from within that talks about the ancient shamans uh, from that book series 
And when they viewed, when they basically psychically viewed Earth energies, it came out to be amber, the color amber, which is directly synonymous with scarlet. Okay? So we're also seeing that the scarlet woman is in direct connection to Earth energies. Okay? And Earth energies, and the so Earth energies mixed with the sexual energy of a human being are absolutely essential for you to reach your highest potential. And you will not make progress, spiritually speaking, evolutionarily speaking, if you do not know how to get in alignment with the Scarlet Woman. If you do not know how to be receptive to the things that the Scarlet Woman is going to be teaching you. Okay? So, it's sexual discipline and setting intention through sexual encounters. And once again, once you master that, the Scarlet Woman becomes a very powerful figure because you will attract a partner that will carry that Scarlet Woman archetype because you disciplined yourself to allow that to happen. And you have to get to a certain point in initiation or evolution to have this. The Scarlet Woman is also associated with the Bride in Kabbalah, in Illuminism. And the Bride can help the initiate that has the Bride to fully manifest their reality. Because the Scarlet Woman inhabits within the Bride, and the person that has taken on the Scarlet Woman's energy body by learning the lessons from the Scarlet Woman throughout their initiatory process, now has access to the Scarlet Woman in their bride, which is a physical partner, and whenever they have sexual experiences or sexual encounters, that is very powerful, and it manifests essentially whatever you're intending. It will set a direct timeline for that to come about, okay? So that's essentially what the Scarlet Woman represents, and uh, sexual energy, sex magic. That's how you use sex magic and that's how the scarlet woman the sexual energy and the soul all come together and allow you to use sex to be an extremely powerful tool for manifestation but once again it needs to be disciplined and you need to know what you're intending and it does take time to get to that point and you're really going to have the deepest encounters with the Scarlet Woman. And you once again, you will see her show up in your life. You'll see scarlet colored cars. You'll see scarlet symbolism everywhere. Um, you'll see people wearing the color scarlet and it'll be like right in front of your face. The point that I'm at in my life, I see it everywhere around me. Because I've gotten to that point of my initiation and my evolution. So you're going to have the deepest encounters with the Scarlet Woman. Once you start your initiatory process in the underworld. So the Scarlet Woman typically is a dark matter energy, energy, uh, a dark matter energy being, spirit, entity, that will show up very profoundly and in, and in its truest form within the clip-off, universe B, as an initiate. And it will once again teach you how to discipline your sexual energy from the very beginning phases of your initiation, which when you first encounter, it's going to be trial and error. You're not really probably going to understand the Scarlet Woman like I'm explaining it until you really have your own experience with the Scarlet Woman and how it shows up. And, and once again, she will teach you, this archetypal energy will teach you that you cannot be wasting your sexual energy if you're actually intending your highest potential. Once again, the Scarlet Woman also will suck you dry if you do not listen to her teachings. Okay, if you're refusing to be receptive to this higher level of understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, she's also a dark matter energy being that will willingly take your energy from you if you're not taking your evolutionary journey seriously. Once again, she exists primarily within the clip off which is the realm of shells and the realm of souls, but she can also be the entity that really helps the initiate traveling through those realms to use that sexual energy that she has access to to help ascend and 
uncover or help the initiate retrieve their soul and all of its potential. And then over time, you develop all the powers of the Scarlet Woman, and then it takes a physical manifestation for you in your initiatory journey. And you will always have that Scarlet Woman around, so whenever you have sexual encounters and sexual experiences, you're able to manifest like crazy. And in my life, this is exactly what I'm doing. This is stuff that I'm not making up. This is stuff that I actually do. And it really works, and you create things very profoundly. This is also some stuff that um, other occultists talk about as well, uh, like Aleister Crowley. Um, and other, I mean, there's a lot of occultists that know about the Scarlet Woman. If you're a serious occultist, then you, you should know about the Scarlet Woman. But a lot of them don't know the truth behind the Scarlet Woman. For example, Aleister Crowley, since he was using it all inverted, since his entire uh, perception and practice with the Kabbalistic tree was using the wrong tree, the inverted pillars, and that in, you know, since he didn't know he was working on the back side of the tree, Universe B, um, and he was dumping himself in the tunnels of Set, he ended up manifesting the chaotic side of the Scarlet Woman. And that's why he had, if you study Aleister Crowley, you'll see that he had multiple women that he called the Scarlet, his, his Scarlet Woman. And you can have multiple Scarlet Women, but Aleister Crowley never took his time to invest in one woman, one woman. He never took his time to invest in one to raise her as the bride to become his high priestess. He was rather just having sex with all these other women that were taking on the chaotic, remember, the chaotic side of the Scarlet Force, which is the Shugal, the Qurans on the Yaldabaoth side of the Scarlet Woman, the, the perverted sexual energy. So although he was having sex with a bunch of these Scarlet Women that he called his Scarlet Woman, he did not understand that he needed to focus on one of them primarily to raise as the bride, and that's where he was really going to be able to step into his power. But he didn't do that because he was inverted and he did not crossed the abyss successfully. So that Scarlet Woman force ended up, uh, you know, really influencing him in a perverted way. So that's just to say that, okay? So other than that, I'm gonna leave it there. I think that covered enough. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Also hit the notification bell because I post videos as often as I can. And make sure you hit the subscribe button because I love to see my subscribers shoot through the roof. Okay, now I would like to say if you would like to gain access to exclusive content, which is not on my YouTube channel, then what you can do is you can go in my description and you click that first link at the very top. Okay, that link is going to take you to my Patreon. And on my Patreon, I have four tiers. The first tier is just going to be support. That's a dollar a month. Okay, you don't get access to anything else just showing me that you're supporting my channel. Okay. The second tier is where you get access to a whole vault of exclusive videos, but specifically uh, videos breaking down the entire Kabbalah. So I break down all the spheres on the Tree of Life, and I break down all the spheres on the Tree of Death, the clip off. This is extremely valuable information that I'm breaking down. I give you the symbolism, I give you the planetary energies associated with the spheres, and I give you the spirits that are also associated with the spirit, uh, the spheres. And then I give my own personal experience having initiated through them myself. Okay? So this is all accessible once you become a tier two member. Okay? So want to, in order to become a tier two member, it costs $9.95 a month. And that is a reoccurring payment. But if you do the math, that will literally come out to less than a dollar a day. So there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be able to afford that, uh, especially with the value that is on there. And that is a complete promise, okay? So once again, tier two, you'll get, gain access to that information, very valuable. Now, tier three, that is gonna give you access to my magic training course. So this is gonna be a course where I literally teach you how to set up your magic circle I teach you how to set up not only just your magic circle, but all the tools you need with it. So you have your triangle of art, you have your wand, 
uh, you have certain tarot cards, things in that nature. I teach you how to set up, I teach you how to charge your tools, and then I'm teaching you actual occult practices that are based around increasing your power in the most profound way possible. So what it's doing is starting with necromancy, going into angel magic, going into Ars Goetia demon magic, and then finishing with casting a low magic but very powerful spell. Okay, so you can actually see how you've been gaining power and see how you can control the world around you in your immediate reality. Okay, um, and once again, that is accessible at tier three, and that is going to cost $25 a month, and that's going to be a recurring payment, but with uh, the content that you can get for that, the magic training course, that's extremely uh, low of a price, okay? And that content is extremely valuable. So, you know, if that's something that you're interested in, interested in, then definitely check out tier three, okay? If you're actually wanting to get your hands, uh, hands and feet wet with this occult practice, okay? Next tier I would like to point you to is tier four. And this is going to give you access to my top tier service. Tier four is my top tier. And this is what I call the vampire service. And what I do there is I literally perform my own occult ritual based off all the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and power that I have to completely change your energy body to be more receptive, to be more universe be dominant, which means you can exist in the darker matter energy sides of reality in a much more effective and effortless way. Um, so the primary idea behind it is to be able to pull in, suck in energy from chaos around you. And there's tons of chaos around us at all times. Um, and then you can turn that into your potential. You can turn it into your power, which is why I call it the vampire service. It's called ultra receptivity. Um, so yeah, so rather than being objective all the time and having to push out energy and feeding chaos and losing power, I'm turning it the other way around, shifting it into universe B so that you're feeding off of chaos, pulling in from chaos and increasing your power, giving yourself the ability to go outside of the five senses, going outside of the fifth dimension. Okay. So once again, if you would like to gain access to that service, which I perform on the 29th of every single month for the months that include the 29th, I believe there's only one month in the year that doesn't have that, then I would definitely recommend joining the top tier service. It is literally one of my most popular services, or excuse me, popular tiers on my entire Patreon, okay? And what that's gonna cost is that's gonna cost $50 a month, but with the service that I'm offering, that is an extremely low price, and it is a permanent energetic shift to your being, okay? So that is, once again, an extremely low price for that kind of service, okay? And oftentimes it takes me around four hours to complete the whole service, okay? So that being said, I would like to give a special shout out to the top tier members that have the Vampire Service. All of their names are gonna be mentioned in the description that is below that Patreon link, at the very first link, okay? Huge shout out to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, for taking your practices specifically to that next level. That is extremely valuable and I highly appreciate all of you, okay? Next shout out I would like to give is to all of my Patreon members in general. I appreciate all of you for taking your knowledge and your practices to that next level as well. That's always amazing. And then a third shout out to all of my YouTube subscribers for really taking in this content. That's always going to be valuable as well. So huge shout out to you. Okay. Okay. Second link I would like to take your awareness to is going to be called square appointments. Once again, in my description, it's the second link. What you're going to be able to do there is book your own tarot card reading with me where I can literally locate where you are on the tree of life itself. So I can literally pinpoint where your spirit is currently at and where it's going to go in your near future and long-term future, okay? I don't know anybody else that does card readings that can do this, okay? And I've done over 100 readings so far, and I've literally been able to pinpoint 
exactly where people are and it's extremely profound and you cannot make that shit up because I've done multiple readings for certain people and every time I do their new reading, it literally picks up where the first one left off or the second one left off. It's so cool to see too and I love doing it because it's fascinating. So if you would like to figure out where you are currently located in regards to your spiritual evolutionary journey connected back to the tree of life, then definitely check out that second link below where you can book that tarot card reading with me, okay? Now, I would like you to check out the third link below. That is going to take you to my YouTube membership. So when you go there and you join and you become a YouTube member, what you're gonna gain access to is a exclusive badge that pops up next to your name in my comment sections and whenever I do live streams, which gives me awareness that you're a YouTube member and you get a special shout out within the live streams. And the badge is the same thing as this moon. So it carries the energy, the planetary energy of the moon. And then you get access to four exclusive emojis that are ritualistically programmed and very intentfully programmed. Okay, I set it up in that, in that way. Um, I'm not gonna go into it in depth right here, right now, but I have an entire video on my YouTube channel that literally talks about exactly what this YouTube membership program does with these exclusive emojis. So if you wanna know and you're interested in becoming a YouTube member once you figure out what it can do, um, definitely check out the YouTube video I have that is titled, parentheses, YouTube membership, and then followed by Psychic Warfare Program. Okay, watch that video. In that video that I have, it talks about this emoji system that I've created, and I don't know anyone else that has done this on YouTube. Okay, I think I'm almost positive I am the only person on YouTube that has done this. Um, yeah, like I'm positive about that. So watch that YouTube video if that's something you're interested in. The third link is going to give you access to becoming a YouTube member, and then you'll have access to all of those ritualistically programmed emojis and you can use them for psychic warfare purposes to eliminate targets in the most simplified way possible. Okay? So that's gonna, I'm gonna leave that there once again, third link below. Ladies and gentlemen, I highly appreciate all of you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or night wherever you are and I will see you on the next video. Peace.